Here are the tools needed to replace the valves and seals in the XW pump series. Here are the kits and their included parts. To replace the discharge valves and o-rings on this pump, you need to remove the three valve caps located at the top of the manifold with a 27mm hex socket. Next, using a pair of needle nose or reverse pliers, remove the valves by grasping the plastic valve cage and pull straight out. Then using a mechanics pick, lift out the o-rings in the bottom. To install the new valves, make sure the o-rings are completely seated in the bottom of the cylinder. Then install the valve squarely on the o-ring. Replace the valve caps and torque to 602 inch-pounds. The three inlet valves are the exact same as the three discharge valves, but are located on the front of the manifold. To change the seals, start by removing the eight manifold bolts using an 8mm hex socket. Now remove the manifold by taking two screwdrivers at opposite sides and hoisting it up evenly. Be careful not to damage or break the plungers by putting a side load on the head. If any parts stay on the plungers, turn the crankshaft so that they can be pulled off. Next. Remove the rear piston guide using a reversible pliers. Grasp the seal and twist side to side while pulling. Here's another type of reversible pliers. An optional tool is a slide hammer with a threaded piston guide puller. AR sells the threaded extension adapter for the slide hammer. First, put the support ring with the flat side facing down. Then, the high pressure seal on top of it. Put the high pressure seal in at an angle and work the edges in. Now insert the front piston guide with the arch side down. Here are the new and old styles of rear piston guides. The new style has a piston guide with a flat inside. It fits a backup ring and a flat bottom low pressure seal. The old style has a U-shaped inside with a curved low pressure seal and support ring. You can convert the old style into a new one by buying a retrofit kit. Put your O-rings on and press into the head. To install the head onto the drive end, rotate the crankshaft so the two side plungers are extended equally.
Place the manifold onto the plungers and use a soft faced hammer to tap the head on. Install the head bolts and torque to 442 inch pounds using an alternating pattern evenly distributing pressure.